Hey there guys, just a quick video to um, show a uh, how to unstick your button if your the switch ever becomes uh, stuck. Not actually like the, the button because there is a, pre a video already of me changing the buttons, but this is actually how to un if you've got like, a sticky actual switch part which is this box here so if you do have a, a sticky switch just uh, rotate these sometimes they just pull out but normally you just rotate them like that and then pull them out like that and they should come free and just unhook this wiring here just be careful obviously if you've got the machine on it won't make too much of a problem there's not that much voltage going through them but it could give you a nasty shock if you uh, have a short circuit somewhere Let's zoom it back out so just put it off from the, the wire and you're left with that. Now with the switch, oh bloody camera. With the switch itself, all you're worried about is this little white button there. There we go. And every time that pushes in, that's what it signals that the button's being pushed. Is that little white bit there? So should you ever get a sticky one, that will just stay in. So what you do, literally, just get that, put it on a little flat surface, or obviously if you've got two hands, it'd be a much lot easier. I keep bloody put my hand in front of that lens. And then literally just get a little bit of WD-40. This is a really old can that I've got lying in the garage, and just give it a little spray. Tiny little sprays. Give it a few clicks to get the WD-40 in there. Give it a little wipe down so you can wipe the res residue off. That's the beauty of WD-40 is that you can use it in the machine. I wouldn't say pretty much straight away, but I mean as long as it's not absolutely soaking in WD-40, you can pretty much plug that back in straight away. Got a little bit of lube going through there. Plug your wiring back in, it can only go in one way, and that's with the white prongs outwards, like that. Again, one handed is not easy, there we go. And once that's in, push that straight back in there, line up the that little clip when there should be a little hole in side of the button, push it in, click it in, and there we go, all done, and your button will be free. Alright guys, well thanks very much for watching, and hopefully if you've got a sticky button, that's solved the issue. Remember to subscribe and share, and uh, yeah, keep an eye out for more videos. Cheers guys, bye bye.